everyone welcome to nios classes today we will be doing class 12 psychology a very interesting subject and a very interesting topic which is from your chapter number 13 okay so let's start with the topic as this uh, demo class or you can say a short video will be related to a very very interesting topic the name of the topic is piaget's cognitive development theory which is there in your chapter number 13 so all of you need to download the pdf and then we'll start reading about that under the piaget's cognitive development theory so who is this piaget and what is this cognitive word you all was, must be wondering so piaget is a very very famous psychologist and the name of the theory is cognitive development what is this cognitive development cognitive is a word which will come across to you in each and every chapter of psychology right so cognitive is basically related to your brain all the mental processes everything which is related to your brain will come under the category of cognitive or cognition in this specific theory you will be getting to know how the brain or the brain related processes are developed in the child in different stages right when the baby um, see the development of the baby actually starts when the baby is inside the womb okay when for complete 9 month the baby is developing when the baby comes out then also the baby is developing so all throughout our life we are having growth and development growth which can be seen physically which is visible to you like your weight is there okay your height is there whereas development is not so visible it is related to the cognition it is related to the brain related processes which you cannot easily measure okay so with a very simple example i'll just going to explain it to you as the video will be bilingual so piaget ne ek bahut hi acha example diya hai is that there is a boy ek ladka hota hai jo apni mother ke sath he just walking down on the street right that boy is around you can say 5 uh, to 6 years okay uh, is moving towards the school as in school right now and both of them are moving on the street and then uh, suddenly he saw an aeroplane in the sky okay so he asks his mother or tells his mother that mama see bird is आसमान में चिड़िया है सो ममा से नो बच्चे दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल अ बर्ड बट ही सेड दैट ही वॉज ऑल ही वॉज टेलिंग दैट दिस इज अ बर्ड ही सेड दैट ममा सी दैट्स दैट्स फ्लाइंग इन द स्काई इट इज हैविंग विंग्स एज वेल so it is a bird because that baby that boy doesn't know the concept of living things and non living things right he doesn't know what is the differentiation between living and non living and he doesn't know that there are other things also which can fly in this sky okay then what mother did mother very politely told him no it's an aeroplane birds can also fly aeroplane can also fly but birds can fly naturally whereas aeroplane needs fuel to fly a birds are living beings living things and aeroplane is non living all of this differentiation was done by his mother and finally he was able to create a sort of balance in his mind related to the previous knowledge he had and the new knowledge which he is having right now it means he can categorize now things into living and non living is it clear i hope it is clear to you now we will move on to the chapter just wait for a while i'll be sharing the screen with you and you will be able to understand it much easier just a second yes so by the screen sharing we'll come on chapter number 30 right cognitive development what example which i gave you right now is explaining this what i have just explained okay is actually written over here is that how assimilation is there adaptation is there accommodation is there okay so let's start discussing about it okay so cognitive development refers to how child think in this chapter we will lay emphasis on how children think thinking changes from one developmental stage to the another this i have already told you if the baby is there between 2 to 6 years of age to 6 to 12 years of age the things will entirely change right what all things will be changed the physical body is also changing and the mental cognition or the mental processes are also changing piaget proposed that 
just as our physical body has structures that helps us adapt to the outside environment similarly we have mental structures to adapt mentally to the information in the world around us how we look physically we have body structure we have bones we have muscles in the same way mental processes are there they build schemes that are the smallest units of thought to do this let us briefly study at the processes through which children construct knowledge about the world around them piaget believed that children use the following processes to actively construct their own cognitive world here one more thing is very very important which is this schema what do we call it schema schema are small pocket of knowledge okay pocket of knowledge for example jab main kehti hu aapko apple ke bare mein sochna hai to kyun aapke samne sirf red color aata hai aur ek apple aata hai kyun aapke samne aapke brain mein wo shape aapko aaram se dikhai deti hai clearly visible hoti hai because in our brain we have different pockets small pockets of knowledge of each and everything right got my point here are some of the steps which are mentioned first is adaptation second is assimilation and accommodation these three are very very important you can remember it by triple a got it what is adaptation this occurs when child adjusts the current information about the world to the new environmental demands okay adapt karna what we are doing we are adapting okay to the environment to the world what we are doing we are adjusting our information according to the present got my point according to the present we are modifying our information we are altering our information and for adapting this new information there are as assimilation and accommodation okay let's start discussing about them one by one what is this assimilation when children incorporate new information into the existing schemes or schemas they are said to be assimilating information okay jab hum new information ko existing information ke sath rakhte hain ya merge karte hain or we incorporate what it is called it is called in uh, sorry it is called incorporation and it is called assimilation okay every time remember your examples okay with the help of examples the theory can become very very easy okay in the exam aap theory bhul jaoge but aap example nahi bhuloge jab aap example nahi bhuloge you will be able to write down answers very clearly okay so for example a child might call all running vehicles on the road car as she he has an existing schema for a car so what is happening over here what is happening over here is that hamare mind mein jo abhi schema hai wo sirf aur sirf car ke liye hai theek hai hame kya bataya gaya hai what do we know right now that there are cars okay so we cannot categorize in between the different vehicles because right now we know only about the cars now it is the responsibility of our elders to introduce different things to us okay so that new schemas can be created in our brain related to that jab us bacche ko bataya jayega ki car ke alawa bhi bahut sare vehicles hote hain that kid will start understanding and will develop different different schemas which are related to different thing or non living thing right is it clear to everyone i hope it is very much clear to you so today we will be doing it till here only if you like the class you can come and join the nios app and there we'll be doing lots and lots of interesting theories thank you so much